The Wisconsin Department of Transportation is recognizing first responders for their part in keeping drivers on the interstate safe, especially with all the construction. Our Rock County reporter Jenna Middaw explains how improving safety is a group effort. First responders from Northern Illinois, Rock and Dane counties have come up with a plan to respond to crashes in construction zones on the interstate together. The hope is that this helps reduce response times and officials say it's already been working. It's a first responders worst nightmare. It took us almost 32 minutes to actually get to the scene of the crash itself. Inaccurate information about the location of the crash and congested traffic in the construction zones on I-3990 left drivers waiting more than a half hour for help. That was certainly the catalyst that drove us to try to find some better ways to help these people. Chief Randall Pickering says the Edgerton Fire Protection District learned from that crash in May and shared their tips with other departments along the interstate. The quicker we can get there, the quicker we can determine what resources are needed to help them, um, the better. A formal plan was put in place to send help from the two closest departments from both directions. You might be able to get there one way, not the other way. Officials now estimate it takes an average of 10 to 12 minutes for first responders to get to the scene of an emergency. While the time differs depending on where the crash is, officials say nothing compares to the 32 minutes it took back in May. We can't thank you enough for all you do, and we can't stress the importance to drivers as far as highway safety. The Wisconsin DOT recognized the first responders' tireless efforts with a special appreciation lunch and reminder for drivers to slow down and pay attention in construction zones. The group of departments that have been working on the interstate response plan will be meeting in December to talk about what's going well and what else might need to be worked on. In Janesville, Jitta Middaw, WISC News 3. Transportation officials say there's been a 20% decrease in crashes on the interstate between Madison and Beloit compared to last year.